Welcome back everyone. I got a special request uh, to do um, how to make a PCB board or a PCB. <laughs> I'm not into the PCB world but uh, let's get started. So we're in Fusion 360. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to find an image that we want to use. Um, I have one right here. This site is a PNG or drawing to SVG converter because we're going to be using an SVG file. Um, dropped my image in here. I'm going to hit convert and there are several websites that will do this for you. This is just one. Um, real quick, this is the PCB I found online. Again, I'm not a PCB guy, but uh, if you have an image that you want to use, uh, this is how we go about, about getting our SVG. So it's ready. I'm going to download. And this is what our SVG looks like. Now, let's get back to Fusion. The first thing we're going to do is create our actual board. So we're going to start with a drawing on the bottom face. And I know that the limits of my machine, uh, I've got a 3018 Pro dimension, hot cut, hot, <laughs> the uh, hot key is D, or you can press the dimension button. My limits are eight inches by six inches. And I'm going to press escape. And I'm going to turn these into construction lines. Uh, they're going to be used for reference. Right, we're going to draw another rectangle. This will be our actual board. And let's say that uh, our board is, uh, let's say, five inches. Oh, let's say let's, let's say six by four and a half. This doesn't have to be in the center here. It just needs to be inside of it. Just so we know we're not getting beyond here. I'm going to finish the sketch. And I'm not sure how thick the PCB material is. I'm just going to guess. Uh, but I'm going to click on this board that I want to extrude. Go to the extrude command. And I'm going to put a distance here. Actually, I'm going to just extrude it uh, in, in the bottom direction. And I, even though I'm in, in uh, imperial units, I can write minus three millimeters. I'm just going to assume the board is three millimeters thick. OK, so now we've got our board. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is save it. I call this tutorial PCB, and we're going to move to our uh, manufacturer workspace, also also called CAM. I actually <laughs> I forgot a step. Uh, back to design. Okay, we need to put our SVG on this face, so we're going to start a sketch on that face. And we're going to insert SVG. Our SVG is located here. That's what we downloaded. And we can see that our, our circuit is too big for this. So we're going to rotate it because this thing looks a little wider than it is tall. And we're going to grab this handle. You can also change the scale here in this window. I'm just going to do some manual manipulation here. Okay, it's it's within here, but I want to center it a little better. I'm going to grab the pan or the move tool. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit more. And that looks good. Click OK. And finish sketch. 
So now we have our board with the PCB outline that we want to engrave onto this board. Uh, so now I'm going to save, switch to the CAM or the manufacturer workspace. And first thing we have to do is set up our machine. I did go over this in another video. Uh, so I'm just going to reuse the machine that I have. Again, it's a 3018 Pro. Um, go to my machines and let's see, this is, uh, yeah, this is the right one. It's going to take a second. Okay. Um, most everything on here is fine. Depending on where you want to start um, your machining operations, I like for the project um, reference point to be in the in the top middle. Uh, you'll see that when you get here, you've got uh, center, top, and bottom at different points, uh, the edges, the corners, and one in the middle. I like to start in the middle. Uh, if you wanted to change that, you can use the model origin, select a point. What we're doing now is called the stock box point. Now we need to configure our stock. So normally when you're machining, you would have a stock larger than your board. In this case, we don't. Um, we can specify a fixed size box. Uh, for what we're doing now, we're gonna stick with the relative size box. And we are gonna reduce our stock offset to zero. Let me zoom in so you can see what's happening here. Zero top offset zero and our bottom offset was already zero okay this looks good I'm gonna hit okay now you see our fictitious machine mine does not look like this I'm gonna turn that off by clicking the I so we're just left with our board okay so the first operation we're going to do is we're going to engrave all these lines. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to grab our 2D engrave function. We're going to select a tool, uh, click on the Fusion 360 library. We're going to look for engraving tools. And I know that this is the tool I'll be using. It does come to a point. Some of these are for special types of engraving where it has a flat bottom. I'm going to stick with this one, select OK. I'm going to turn off flood. I don't have a, a cooling system. I'm going to increase spindle speed to 10,000. I'm going to slow the feed rate uh, to 500 since this is a little delicate. Now for our geometry, I'm going to have to click and highlight every piece here. So you can see the difference. Okay, now we need to set our heights. Uh, most of these are good. If you want to lower the retract height, uh, you can, or the clearance height. Uh, one thing we're missing here is our bottom height. The bottom height tells the machine how low the bit can go. Uh, we've got we've got kind of an auto-generated one here. We're going to switch this to model bottom. And we're going to put in a distance of one millimeter. This way, the machine will not allow the bit to go through the board. It'll stop here during this process. And normally I would do multiple depths. Since these are quite shallow, I'm going to leave this. Everything here looks fine. 
Uh, I'm going to hit OK. And we have our toolpath. Okay, when we click on it, we can see what it's going to look like. If I zoom in here, uh, you can see that there is a, a very slight uh, machining done in here. I zoom in here I turn off my model. Uh, you can see how it uh, engraved around here. If we look at the one that we skipped, I believe it was this one. You can see that it just went did the whole thing. So uh, if you did make a mistake like this, uh, we can right click, we can edit, we'll go to geometry, select this area, hit OK. It's recalculating. and turn off our model. And you can see now that it has done a circle uh, around the center here. Okay, so we have our, our, our circuitry cut out here. Uh, next we're gonna do is we're gonna check machine time. It's gonna take 11 minutes to cut this out. And for fun, let's run a simulation. Play. Let's slow this down. Gonna turn off the model, and you can see where the machine uh, is going to engrave the board. Exit simulation. Okay, now that we're done, uh, we're going to right click, export. I'm sorry, not export, post process. Uh, make sure that our post here is GRBL. We're going to make sure that our safe retract is at clearance height, uh, not any of these two options. And let's create a folder for this. Tutorial PCB. And we're going to use this folder. Click this button, it'll actually open up the folder for us. I'm going to set this over here for a second. Uh, we are ready to post it. If you're using multiple tools, it's a good idea to uh, give them unique names in case you come back later and forget. Um, and we're ready to go. I'm going to hit post. Bring this back over, and now you see we have our toolpath for the engraving. Thanks for watching.